Hey everyone, I am live and I'm not going to be talking about politics today. I'm going to be talking about another pop culture thing, a thing that was trending over the last couple of days. And to be quite honest, I originally watched the trailer for Netflix's Cuties uh, while at an airport on mute reading the subtitles. Uh, and it got a lot of backlash from left, right, center, people from all religious backgrounds. I think I saw somebody tweet, uh, hey, Christian moms, get on this because this is disturbing, get it canceled. But a lot of people in the Muslim community, in the Jewish Jewish community, non-religious people saw the trailer and the poster and did a double take. Initially, my thought was WTF, like what is this and why is this being promoted by Hollywood? So I've done a little digging the last couple of days. The film is not out yet. It comes out next month on Netflix. And it's not just the poster that I have issues with. There were some people that talked about not just the over-sexualization of young girls, but of course the over-sexualization of black women and black girls in our society and how damaging that is to them as a whole and as um, and a group of Americans that we should really be looking to protect. This is something that Dr. Anthony Bradley has talked about in the past when he talks about hip hop culture and rap culture and how they just over-sexualize women and treat them as objects instead of human beings. And uh, he is much more educated and well-spoken when he talks about those things than me, so you should go check out his perspective. I don't agree with Dr. Bradley on everything, but he is one of the people that I listen to on a lot of things. And he said that for years. Actually, I've known him for more than 10 years now, and he's been talking about this. So you had a, a, an element of social media backlash from people that were saying, hey, this over-sexualization of black women is not okay, and this over-sexualization of black girls is not okay. And then you had people like myself and others on the right side of the aisle saying, hold up, like this just looks straight up pedophilic. Um, this is something that pedophiles like dream of, and the, Film Cuties is actually a French film by a name I cannot pronounce because I do not speak any other languages, although my grandmother speaks a little bit of French and is half French, but it was a Sundance Award winning film and it is was created by a woman who is a Sengali French woman and she said that she created the film because she actually wanted to combat over sexualization of girls. And Netflix has since apologized for the poster I, but it's not just the poster that I have a problem with. If you look at the original poster, even still, it shows 11-year-old girls in booty shorts wearing, you know, mid-drift sports bra type things. And the content of the film still shows crotch shots of these little girls, still shows them, you know, grabbing at their breasts, still shows them learning how to twerk, still shows their disrespect of their parents. Um, there's so many issues that I had, not just with the poster, but with the premise of the film and, and the trailer as well. I will be doing a follow-up video after I watch the film in its entirety. I know that some people have said, hey, you need to cancel your Netflix account over this, but this is one of those things where you need to not just be looking at the one thing that you saw on Twitter, you need to do some research. And I kind of want to give the female director the benefit of the doubt when she says that she created this film to combat the over-sexualization of girls and to talk about and highlight how social media plays into young girls looking for attention and love and promotion that they get when they objectify themselves for public for the public eye but i have an initial contention with the fact that she still casted young girls she the, the lead actress is 11 years old she's an 11 year old playing an 11 year old um Yes, Johnny, I did watch the entire trailer and I read the premise of the film on Wikipedia and I read reviews after it won at Sundance. So I've done a little bit of research here. And my contention with the director is, is that, that's one of the things. She still um, had this storyline of the twerking and the disrespect to the parents and these girls just overall being sexualized, like even in the trailer with the pouty lips and the hip thrusting and the makeup and the eyelashes just i don't understand i think that there's a lot of ways that you can talk about the damage that social media and over sexualization of 11 year old girls of tween girls does um to this entire generation and even some unfortunately generations before have experienced this without objectifying or highlighting 11 year old actors with crotch shots and sexualized behavior um there apparently is a scene in the movie, not to give it away, where she actually shows the audience's reactions to the girls dancing on stage. 
that a lot of people at Sundance said was disturbing and moving. Uh, of course, Holly, famous Hollywood actress Tessa Thompson has come out in defense of the film as a whole, saying that Netflix's portrayal of it wasn't accurate. Uh, but I think that this is a broader conversation that we have to have as a society of like, what is being created? Why is it being created? And, and I mean, the things that, th this didn't just go through like one person. Netflix is a massive company. Uh, there's tons of people that go through the process and I kind of have a hard time believing that the director and the creator of the film that signed the rights over to Netflix had no idea what they were gonna be releasing. And even if you, ha if you have problems with the poster but you're saying you don't have problems with the film, then why? Because the poster is a direct depiction of what happens in the movie, right? Um, Ali Stuckey even pointed out, she's like, hey guys, when, when you're talking about this, let's not repost the image because it is objectification of girls. And I a thousand percent agree with that. I won't be posting the image. Everybody, you know, has seen it. Um, and I don't want to be portraying those girls like that. And I think that it's a broader conversation that my husband and I have a lot. We have friends that are actors and models and creators and designers, and they often look at us and they're like, whoa, you guys have four girls in LA you need to be careful. But unfortunately, it's not just having four girls in LA, it's having girls anywhere in our society because of the access that they have to social media, because of the things that they see that are on their online streaming services that we are told are kid friendly. Uh, like when I talked about the Babysitter's Club and all of the inappropriate, I think, child f content that was on that show. Um, so well written about and so well weaved into the storyline to create interest from an 11 year old girl. It wasn't the extreme over sexualization that we're seeing on the cuties trailer, but it is a normalization of certain dialogue and appearance and look that we see across a lot of platforms that I think is dangerous for young girls as a whole. Um, so, Anyway, I think that we all need to use this as an example and an opportunity to look deeper than just the tweets, to look deeper than just the poster, and to hopefully hold people accountable for the art that they are creating and why they are creating it. I mean, I, I think if, if this director wanted to talk about um, the dangers of young girls being you know, portrayed as objects and sex beings at such a young age and young girls kind of struggling with that, the trailer doesn't really make it look as if it's a struggle. It makes it look as if it's rewarded. It makes it look as if it's enticing. It makes it look as if it's attractive and like, this is what the cool kids do, right? And I think that that's dangerous and I think that that's telling. I mean, there's a couple of movies that come to mind that were heart-wrenching, that were, um, you know, unfortunately the tales of, of fellow Americans that did so without sexualizing minors. Um, Moonlight would be one of them. Precious would be another. Um, even, even Juno, in a sense, talked about issues that were um, applicable to a lot of Americans, things that people have experienced, like abuse, single motherhood. But it did so, I think, at least in my opinion, without objectifying minors. And so I still go back to, if this is supposed to be a statement against objectification and sexual objectification of, of girls, then how come you cast at 11 year olds? How come you chose to use the camera shots and the angles that you did in the way that you did, aside from Netflix? So there's multiple problems with this. I want all of your perspective as dads and moms uh, and viewers and siblings, because I think this is an important issue that we need to continue to discuss. And uh, I look forward to hearing your feedback. I'll see you soon.